Tennessee completed an impressive feat last night. No team before had gone to Lexington and Fayetteville and had gotten wins in the same season. Now the Tennessee Vols have done that. I'm going to talk more about this game after this intro. Happy Thursday. This is Frank Rock. This is the House of Orange Sports Channel coming at you. Thank you guys for tuning in with me. This is Tennessee versus Arkansas the next day. Uh, before I get into this thing, as always, guys, make sure you like this thing. Uh, if you like the channel, like what you're seeing, subscribe to it, and make sure you share this thing out as well. There's plenty of basketball still to go this year. We've got a couple... I don't know, I guess we got uh, close to a month left of the regular season. Then we'll get an SEC tournament. Then we'll get into the big tournament. Hopefully we're around for that for a while. Baseball amps up tomorrow night. One day to go. I've put out a couple videos this week talking about that. And we'll put one out this afternoon. Uh, later this afternoon as well as the roster's been updated with one, uh, one big omission on it. And talked about the lineup as... Uh, Things are a little more clear as we go into that, but this is basketball. Let's get into that. Right now, Tennessee goes down 92-63 last night. Fayetteville, Bud Walton Arena, never an easy place to go, but Tennessee goes in, takes care of business. Um, of course, you get Arkansas, a team who's not a good shooting team. They come out hot, come out of the gate, but Tennessee was able to withstand that. This time, they went to halftime up 46-40, and then they just absolutely dominated in the second half. And uh, just look at that 46, 40 half Tennessee replicated that with 46 in the second half, but they held Arkansas to 23 points then. And uh, Arkansas only had one guy in double digits. That was Tremon Mark, who was their leading scorer coming in. Uh, no one else over double digits with them. And Tennessee just a dominating night. And I thought it was pretty interesting. Rick Barnes talked about how, I guess coming to Arkansas was known for like their pick and roll defense. So this tells you how much um, scouting these guys, how much pride they put in to that as they talked about that and said that they knew Arkansas liked to run kind of that pick game and they held them to where they did not score off of it a single time last night and that they responded. They had a game plan. They stuck with it. And, uh, and the quote was, we were watching film last night. The one thing we showed the team was how much Arkansas counts on hitting that roll man out of that ball screen. I don't think they got it one time tonight. I don't think they were able to get it. Again, it goes back to what you said, being so effective and disciplined to stay in a gap. So that tells you a lot about what that game plan was coming into this game as they knew kind of where they were at, what Arkansas liked to do. This team just took it away from them. Last night, and again, first half, competitive first half. Second half, though, just total domination on this. And, you know, like I said, my first bullet point, really a defensive masterpiece. Held Arkansas, a team averaging close to 80 to 63 points at home. That's impressive. While also putting up 92 of their own. Arkansas gave up a little. It was like their plus minus on the year was minus 1.8 coming in. So Tennessee scored about 13, 14 more than Arkansas normally gives up on it. And it was, uh, you know, the good thing in this game, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll give guys credit. I'll call it out when it needs to on it. Jonas Adu bounced back big last night, 23 points, 12 boards. Welcome back for him. He's had a, a few pretty rough games in a row, but last night that was not an issue as he took care of business there. and. Um, just look at the team stats from uh, Tennessee shot 56.9% from field goal range opposed to Arkansas's 37.9. That's pretty big. Uh, three pointers, of course, Arkansas, eight out 23, 34.8%. Pretty close to their, maybe just slightly above their average. Tennessee, 29.45 out of 17. Here's what I like to see. Uh, two in a row actually coming up, I like to see. 
Tennessee 21 out of 24 at the free throw line, 87 and a half percent. And they out rebounded Arkansas 36 to 25, assists 14 to 9. Tennessee uh, turnovers, Tennessee had 12, Arkansas 15 points in the paint, Tennessee 48, Arkansas 22. Largest lead at one point was 32, end up with the 29 point victory. So pretty much every category you go down, Tennessee won in resounding fashion last night. And um, that rebounding battle was big because they'd had two games in a row where they'd been dominated on the boards. And this looked like a game to me that they could control the boards on, and they did it last night. Sometimes, you know, the impressive thing is doing what you should do, and they did it last night. They did it, and it was good to see you know, look at the individual scoring as well. You had Adu, 23 and 12. You had Connect last night with 22 points, 7 out of 14. Bill goals, uh, 7 out of 10 free throws. So 70%, not that bad. Uh, I'd like to see a little better, but I think we've established Connect's free throw shooting is going to be hit and miss. Four rebounds for Connect, two assists, two steals, three rebounds on it. So solid night again for him. Zakai Ziegler, nine points, four out of eight shooting, six assists, three turnovers again. This is this is the one thing I think Ziegler needs to fix. Uh, Veska B, four points, six rebounds, two assists. Josiah Jordan James, 12 points. Good scoring game for him last night. Tobey Awaka, three points, four boards. Rick Barnsroy complimented on uh, Awaka on what he did last night. Talked about how he was really able to establish position and do his thing in the 10 minutes that he played. Uh, Jordan Ganey, how about him bouncing back last night with 17 points? And again, that's kind of that roller coaster that we see out of certain guys on this team where Ganey was 17 points. Last game, I think he had zero. So it's, um, you know, what Ganey are you going to get? Six out of eight on field goals, two out of three on three-pointers last night. And then uh, Jemai Meshack, two points as well. Um, we saw some freshmen get some earned. So Cade Phillips get a little extra run. Got six minutes last night. JP Estrella was out injured, so they put Phillips in. And Barnes said he was happy with what Phillips come in and did. Uh, Freddie DeLeon got a little PT last night as the Cam Carr, four and three points each for them. So, um, you know, just a, a good overall night for Tennessee. And it was a good bounce back after that Texas A&M win or I'm sorry, at Texas A&M loss, which looks even worse after they went to Vanderbilt on Tuesday night and um, and dropped that one. So look at the conference standings now. Tennessee is fourth place, Alabama 9-2. South Carolina, Auburn tied at 9-3. Auburn ran South Carolina out of the building last night, 101-61. Tennessee in fourth at 8-3. and three. Half game out of second place, and then Kentucky, Seven and four right behind them with a host of other teams with Kentucky. Uh, let's see. Yep. So there's your top five in conference as of right now. And the Vols, man, they have some, you know, with these next few weeks coming up, they have that opportunity to do some damage. So if I'm, I'm going to pull a schedule up here quick, we're looking at that where moving forward, Vanderbilt Saturday night at six o'clock on the SEC network, Missouri. Next, uh, looks like Tuesday night, as they, they will be uh, 7 o'clock SEC Network. That's at Missouri. Texas A&M the following Saturday, 8 o'clock. If I'm Tennessee, that is a revenge game for me. That's a revenge game. And uh, you know, you can tell in post-game comments, and since Rick Barnes was not happy with that game, I know he, he made the comment, he said, he's going to put the play in. If the coach runs out on the court, we're going to run over them. And uh, you know what? That's... If Buzz Williams is running on the court like that and gets run over, that's his fault. And um, I, I don't normally say do that, but in his case, yeah, him going out there, if he, he gets what he gets. You know, don't want him to get hurt or nothing, but he also should not be on that court either. And then the last two weeks is where Tennessee, it's going to be big. Auburn at Alabama, at South Carolina, and then Kentucky at home to wrap it up. So it's a, uh, it's a. Uh, the next two games should be very winnable. The next five, I mean, A and M. You saw what they did in Tennessee last Saturday. So how does Tennessee respond to that on the twenty fourth? And then those last two weeks are going to be rough. It's going to be intense. 
that's big boy basketball coming up. That's going to get you ready for the NCAA tournament. Set it for I don't care what happens in the conference tournament. Tennessee can go out in the first game for all I care. They won it two years ago. They got that banner for it. It did them no good seating-wise as they did not move up a bit in their seating. And so, you know, hopefully that same logic is applied that pretty much their seating is what it is coming in. So, you know, again, do I want championships won in Knoxville? Absolutely. SEC tournament, just the SEC tournament. Do I want them to win the conference uh, this year? Yes. Do I want them to win the NCAA tournament? Yes. I don't care about the SEC tournament. It's a waste of time, in my opinion. Um, doesn't mean I'm right. Doesn't mean I'm wrong on that either. But, um, uh, Again, coming up uh, later today, we'll drop that baseball video, talk about the lineup, talk about the roster as it was finally released. And then uh, this bad boy is going live tomorrow night right after the baseball game. I hope you guys will be able to tune in with me, and uh, we'll see how it goes. If it goes good, maybe we'll explore doing it a little bit more over the weekend and and going forward. As um, Like I said, baseball, basketball, that's going to be this channel saying you're definitely going to cover football. It'd be crazy not to. but. Um, you know, that's, that's later on. Football about to amp up with spring practice. Not too far around the corner either. So I'll bring some stuff on that as well. A lot of stuff coming up on here. It's going to be a busy time of year, and I can not wait. But uh, my name's Frank Rock. This is the House of Orange Sports Channel. Happy Thursday. I hope you guys have a good day. And as always, go Vols.